Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I'm going to do a book review now. This is the Advanced Balasol Manual. Um, I already posted a uh, review on the original Balasol Manual that came out in 90, 1984. This one came out two years later in 1986, and this is basically an addition to the first book. Now, the first book, uh, the intro had a little bit of history, talked about Jeff Amata and you know his credentials as a Balasong enthusiast and master, if you will, and his involvement in Hollywood and how he taught a lot of actors and stuff like that, um, how to use the Balasong. Okay, very much a, uh, a well-known name in the industry. All right, and then the first one is uh, mainly focusing on different manipulations and self-defense uh, techniques. Now, this is the Advanced Balasong Manual. Again, came out in 1986. There's Mr. Jeff Amata on the front once again. There's a custom shop, Benchmade. Well, now it would be the 49, but absolutely beautiful. If you found that exact knife right now, you could probably easily get two grand for it. Phenomenal, that crisp blade. All right, so first thing to do is, there's dedication, I'm gonna read the contents for you. Uh, introduction, Jeff Amata, the Amata Kaibu, or Kaibo, Bow Song and the Law. Once again, disregard any law information. These books are outdated for that purpose. Pocket knife openings, manipulating the bow song, grip changes, self-defense with the bow song, uh, restraining holds, catalog, refurbishing the bow song, and belt sheaths. Jeff Amata, once again, huge name in the Hollywood scene. All right, Big Trouble in Little China. Most of you guys have seen that. It's a classic movie. Yes, that's Jeff Amata with a baton and a bow song. Can't beat it. Here's Jeff Amata teaching Sylvester Stallone how to flip a bow song. I mean, he was the man. I t I'm telling you, any single thing from 1980 to 19 or 2000 and on, if you see a bow song being flipped, it's because Jeff Amato taught that person how to do it. And he, in, in many cases, instead of T, if they wanted some kind of advanced move like in uh, Big Trouble Little China, they didn't want an actor to have to do all that stuff. He literally was the actor. He played a lot of different roles as well. A lot of villains and a lot of bad guys so that he could do those scenes properly and efficiently. Um, more on to him. All right, then it goes into uh, defense, different techniques. Um, this is just an interesting random thing on uh, presenting your badge and your dump pouch. A little bit random. That's okay. Bounce on along, again, disregard. A little bit on uh, folding knives in general. Knife safety, just like the first one. Uh, opening techniques on the left page. Again, I don't want to ruin a lot of this for you guys. I want you to quickly see it, but I want you to really, you know, get in depth with this when you get the book yourself but also more manipulations. Keep in mind that the second one is gonna have completely different moves than the first one, all right? That's why I recommend getting these as a pair. Get both of them, all right? You'll see everything that they have to offer. More moves, don't wanna ruin it for you, but you can see big illustrations step by step, so it's very easy to learn. Even the arrows showing what the rotation is, and of course, words to back the pictures. Some people can read this. They can just read that and, oh yeah, I get it. Some people are visual, I'm more visual. These pictures help me a million times more than reading what to do, all right? So a little slideshow style. Got lots of different moves to learn in here. Even an aerial or two. Uh, finger twirling exercises, this is fantastic. This is get your dexterity going. This gets your, your finger muscles used to manipulating, all right? This is stuff that not a lot of people teach you. That's why these books are great references. All right, a lot of more you know, grip techniques. And again, this is gonna be more for uh, actually using a knife for defensive purposes. Okay, how to defend yourself with a closed battle song. Good to know, right? Just standard impact techniques. Your battle song is a coupeton. Whatever knife you have has a blade on it, right? But when it's closed, it's an impact weapon. So it's good to keep that in mind. You may not always wanna use a defensive blade for lethal purposes. If someone's all up in your business, as they say, um, you may not want to have to, you know, kill them. You can you certainly use your knife in a closed manner to very effectively beat the crap out of them. So, it's all about necessary force. Just because you guys, you know, carry guns and carry knives doesn't mean you have to use them to their full ability. You know, a gun is a very lethal weapon. But you pistol whip someone, you can knock them out and get out of there without having to actually hurt them, hurt them. Well, you can really hurt someone pistol whip them, but you know what I mean. Uh, this is my favorite part. The back ends of the Advanced Balasol Manual is where it's at for collectors, okay? You're seeing lots of pictures of old models. They're talking about different styles, but um, yeah, obviously, you know, I'm referring to the uh, Manila style here, which is the reverse. Basically, the Manila style, the latch is on the safe handle as opposed to the bite handle. 
You're gonna find that in some FHMs, Filipino handmade knives. Some of the custom ones from the Philippines are Manila style, so don't be confused with that. But anyway, my favorite reference, the original battle songs from the Philippines. Uh, seeing all these different models, again, huge battle song boner. I uh, just seen all the stuff in the 80s. Uh, Valor made a lot of things. Uh, Frost Cutlery had a couple of battle songs, even though we own Frost Cutlery is not the best uh, quality, you know, mass produced stuff. But, you know, I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, seeing all these old things, the Taylor knives, all these old models, this is a, a fantastic reference guide. You get not only the models, the model numbers, you get the original price for these. All right, you get a flip when you see some of these Benchmades. Hang on a second, miscellaneous stuff. More miscellaneous battle songs. I've had some of these from Fury brand cutlery. Had this small one here, not with stag, but with like a bone handle. Um, I would kill for this. This original razor blade battle song. It used to be 30 bucks. If you can find that right now, you could probably pay 200 bucks for it. The Finland made stuff. Actually, those are made from Italy, but that's a very similar design to the uh, Finland. All right, Pacific Cutlery. Oh, by the way, I've had this knife. I've had both of these. These pen style knives, so cool. Look at that, originally looked like a pen, flip to your pocket, opens up to a bell song. I've had this, Master of the Master uh, from Taylor. This is an awesome knife. When closed in the pocket, it looked like two pens, but they're each your handles. All right, open it up to a bell song. Friggin' amazing. One of my favorite bell songs. I sold that years and years ago. I can kick myself for that. In fact, after this video, I probably will kick myself. Um, all right, Pacific Cutlery. This is an awesome reference guide, okay? Once again, gives you exact names. If you, I use this reference guide multiple times. People will bring a knife to me and say, what is this? You know, it's my, it was my father's from the 80s, blah, blah, blah. I use this as a direct reference. They have exact model numbers, exact sizes. You can see the difference between like hidden pins and exposed pins, um, blade shapes. This is a great, great reference. Original prices, $240. You get an original model 401, you can expect to pay $700-$800 for it, if not more, in mint condition. All right? Some of the ones we're more familiar with, see, some of these models you guys have probably never even seen before. And I don't want to ruin it in case, again, you get the book. Some of the more common, uh, smaller battle songs, the 68, you see sometimes the utility blade. I almost never see a 69. I don't really see the model 10. Um, I see the model 30. But, you know, the difference in models could be the difference between having exposed pins or pins that are hidden. Hidden pins basically just sanded down nice and even with the handle, so it doesn't look like there's pins there. Original price for model 68, $75. Good lord. Certainly not going to pay that now. Here's all the international models. The 159, the 160, the uh, skeletonized ones. It's so cool to see these like this. It is absolutely awesome. Here's the model 43, 85 bucks. Damn. And then of course they give you the, uh, they show you what the options were for the custom shop, which is even better. So if you do have one of the old, you know, God, Jody Sampson stuff, I mean, these things are like the holy grail of ballast songs so for ballast song guys. But it's really cool to use as a reference and see what options were back then. You know, I've never seen a, uh, uh, a PCC with a scimitar blade. That was an option. I mean, some were made out there. If you could find that friggin' thing, you have a gold mine. Reverse utility, I've never seen. See, some of these blades I've actually never seen on a real knife from, from the day. The Mariner, which would be, you know, razor style, razor blade style. So friggin' cool. And then uh, some old pictures of the shops, which is really cool. I'll give you information on uh, care and treatment. How they're usually made, grinded. I like this. Miscellaneous butterflies. Little plastic toy for kids. I would love that. I'd play with that be a good little trainer and they go on to showing you different sheaths and that's it and it's cool in the back here they do have on both books a battleship a battleship yeah <laughs> a battle song ownership record so you can literally start filling this out if you want to keep uh, track of what battle songs you have and I'd, I'd recommend using this it's pretty cool uh, these are just my my reference books I don't write in them but it'd be cool to keep a little record of just all the battle songs you used to have. And I kind of wish I did that before. It'd be really interesting to look at. But anyway, that's the Advanced Battle Song Manual by Jeff Amata. Um, do yourself a favor if you like battle songs, even in the slightest bit. Go out, find this book. 
Um, I didn't mention in the other video about price or where you can find them because honestly, it's gonna be so out there. Um, they do pop up on eBay, all right? You're probably not gonna find this at Borders Books. You know, it's, it's an old book um, and it's not gonna be in stock. eBay and Amazon is your best friend to find these things. Expect to pay anywhere around 20 bucks, $20 and up probably. You might get lucky and find it for like 10, 11 bucks somewhere, but for the most part, $20 or more. They're well worth it. Find yourself both books and you'll be extremely happy reading through them and there will always be good reference guides for you guys. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope you guys have a great day. Take care.